Disrupt Education, episode 19. Hmm. Jonathan Beach. How you doing? Thanks for being here, man. How y'all doing? I'm glad uh, to be here. Oh, yeah, man. So tell, okay, previous student of mine, yes. 2014, wrote an amazing piece, but let's start with where you are now mm -hmm. and, and from high school to now. Tell us that journey. That journey started my first two years of of high school where I basically was not really focused on um, getting an education. My focus was more on getting a girlfriend, hanging out with friends, and also hanging out with people that probably didn't have my best interest in mind, which reflected in my schoolwork because by the end of like the semester, I would receive like D's and F's on my report card, and my parents would get upset at me, which caused me to become an angry student as well because of that fact. Mm -hmm. um, going, going into my junior year, I almost didn't um, attend OPRF because, my, because after my first two years, my mom pretty much thought I wasn't getting the proper education that I needed here, mm -hmm. so she wanted to send me elsewhere. However, I did not end up going anywhere because the school that my mom wanted me to go to we found out like some kind of sketchy stuff about it, mm -hmm. so that's why they just decided to just send me back. That for me was my uh, wake up call mm -hmm. because it pretty much said, okay, they're gonna send me there, they didn't, so now that they didn't, I have to like really put in the work. So my junior year is pretty much when I um, made my transformation because I became a great student. I was more engaged in school and I applied myself the way I should have my first two years. Mm -hmm. And it also transferred into my senior year of high school where I um, received a high school diploma. And after that, I, and after graduating high school, I uh, attended Trident College where I majored in English. I was at first, I, when I was an English major, I wanted to be a English teacher, and also I, I did some writing on the side, but as I was in the classes, I wasn't really feeling it, because when you're in your major, you're supposed to be engaged, you're supposed right. to like be really into it. I wasn't really... How long, how long into your education was that when you started feeling that, like, was it quick? Was it, it a whole semester? Or? It actually took a couple of years mm -hmm. because um, part of me wanted. I was. I basically wanted, like, was like, basically was switching what I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. One minute I wanted to be a poetry teacher and a creative writing teacher. Then after that. I just decided, since I like helping people with their problems, why not be a social work major? Right. Which is what I did towards the end of my career at Triton, mm -hmm. with, where I ended up graduating at and receiving my associate's degree. Mm -hmm. And after I graduated Triton, I attended North Carolina A&T State University, where I currently am now. Mm -hmm. And I just finished my soft, and, and I just finished my first semester where I'm starting to be a social worker. So in that's that, where I am now. In that poem, and, mm -hmm. and I'm going to share that with our viewers at the yeah. end of this, because uh, mm -hmm. I think it's that important. Um, it, you literally wrote out your transformation. Um, how did that feel? Like because you you matured. I saw you mature in high school. Mm -hmm. I don't see that a lot with students. Like I don't get to see that, and it was a privilege to see that. Um, what? What did you feel like after you wrote that? Because you basically wrote, I was this way and now I'm just going to change and then Jonathan Beach is going to be this person. I felt um, relieved because I've started out as this immature student that didn't really care about school to this individual who got him who got his self together towards the end and finished strong. Mm -hmm. So it felt great, and I felt great about writing that poem. I mean, that was truly amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go into my final question mm -hmm. here, because this is the one about disrupting education. Is there something in your mind in a high school or the way the system is that we could change 
to help encourage kind of what you did mm -hmm. to, to pivot while you're here in high school and actually accelerate maybe a maturity piece? Um, or is there like something in high school in general that you would like to see changed? The thing I would like to see change in high school is, I'm just going to base this off of what I saw when I was in high school. I, well, when I saw in high school was sometimes the teachers would play favorites to some students and then leave the other students out. I would feel, I, I, I think there should be more equality in the classroom so everyone can get the same opportunity instead of just focusing on one student. How do you measure that? How would you, how would you like, you know, how would you make sure that happens? I would make sure that, um, make sure everyone feels welcome when they walk to the classroom instead of having this one student in class that feels like the student, I mean the teacher does not want them there mm -hmm. or that did you have this happen to you, like in certain classes? Um, not per se, but when I was in clubs, like in spoken word, mm -hmm. I, uh, I would hear like, students say, oh, I'm not going to get in because so-and-so's poem was better than mine. Mm -hmm. In my head, I didn't let that get to me. I just, I just basically did my own thing right. when I was in spoken word, so right. I didn't let that bother me at all. So what's next for you, man? You're a year in now? Half yes. Half year? Year I, in at I am North a, Carolina A&T? Yes, I'm a year in at North Carolina A&T. Um, I will be beginning my... I'll be, getting, I'll be beginning my junior year semester uh, in January, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. I appreciate you being here. Thank hey, you for sharing your story, man. No problem. Thank you for having me. Jonathan Beach, episode 19. Guys, keep disrupting education. Went from an immature stud who was cynical, strolling with a hunch, easily influenced by peers with two faces. Grades were lower than sagging pants. Parents in an uproar because of my performance. I was an angry bird whenever people disturbed me. My ambition didn't exist like a dinosaur. I got no love from Danzels, so I was on to the next one like Jay-Z, maturing like the most improved player. My friendships grew as strong as Mark Henry. Grades became a high scorer in a video game. I became student of the quarter and made the honor roll. I was motivated like lectures for my parents. My walk became a rich man's strut. Writing became my ambition, giving me a chance to escape. Got a girlfriend that's still finding herself. Didn't change my persona, but I just grew up. Those people didn't get to me because I embraced their negativity. Because their words are like towers that will not budge. Because I'm rugged and I'm proud of who I am. Nice. Dude, that hits, man. That hits. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Oh my God. To hear it from the words, to hear it spoken from the actual author. <laughs> wow. You helped me out, man. Growing as a I teacher. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Wow. I appreciate that.